Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast. Welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're goofing around a little bit in the 80 carry role, playing some Shibalanke. Uh, I brought up in one of my recent videos that I want to start playing different roles more often, and uh, this is going to be this is going to be one of those days. I think it was the Uller mid video we talked about that. I uh, want to play some different roles, and Shibalanke ADC seemed like a fun idea. Uh, as far as our start here, we could do either the two or the one. A lot of that depends on whether we're boxing or not. If we're boxing, I'm pretty sure the two should be better for, you know, uh, pretty obvious reasons, right? Ability damage um, plus a slow. But if we're going for wave clear, if we're not going to box too much, which I don't know, I'm not. I'm not an ADC main. I'm not that sweaty. I'm, I'm cool with just chilling here for 30 seconds. Uh, if we're going for wave clear, we can level our one. That's going to end up being our better source of clear, especially this early in the game, because it basically gives us cleave autos uh, to some degree. It's not actually cleave autos, but it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we're not really boxing so far. We'll get the one A little tip for Shibalanke. Um, the one scales in mana cost. So you kind of want to keep it low cost, especially in the early game. And, like, that's one thing, I've seen people mess with maxing the one, a lot of the time maxing the one makes you so mana hungry, it's actually not good. So, little tip there, I guess we should have invaded, huh? But can we just do our purple? And I, we probably shouldn't have invaded, actually, because Ares clear, Ares clear, no, no, we shouldn't have invaded, they could have just taken it from us, because I have no secure, Ares has no secure, even though, you know, normally we'd invade, it actually does make sense to just get our own purple here, because there's no way, there's no way we reliably secure any buff. Let him get that. Go back to wave here. Um, so we should be able to be pretty aggressive here in the early game. Shibalanke won. For one thing, we want to be aggressive on Shibalanke. Our passive gives us damage based off of the damage we deal. Um, I'm trying to think, how how does it scale again? Is it every 1,500 damage right now? Let's see here. Every 1,500 damage dealt, we're getting 5 power, and that goes up to 6 stacks, which gives us up to 30 power. So really, really strong passive. We want to be aggressive where we can. I guess we should have been boxing for that reason, huh, in the early game. Trying to do a little damage here. I don't think we're going to be able to reach uh, the Hachimon for too long. Oh, maybe. Try and get some poke on a Geb instead there. That's fine. Erlang, you create. It looked like he was going to go behind tower for a second. You crazy dude. No. <laughs> Starts just rotating on over as they run back underneath their tower. Uh, we'll try and just keep up pressure here for a little while. Obviously, you know, early game ADC, there's not too much we can do besides just try and pressure for lane. Uh, cause we don't have boots yet, we don't really make great rotations, so we're just here to farm, man. That's, that's all we're here for, right? Why can't we just get along and farm our lane? But yeah, I wanna, I wanna get some different roles played on the channel, right? I've been playing so much jungle, especially for a while now, cause, um, you know, you guys, I think you guys get it. I, I played a lot of solo lane season four. I, I think when, when solo lane is meta, when it's strong, solo lane tends to be my favorite lane. Ooh! Ooh! CC immune the, the knock up there. Miss it all the autos. We should get him here. There we go. Branching bowl is too good, man. Get out of here with your rock autos, boy. Um, Good play from Ares, man. That little baby blink. I respect it. Not many people know about the baby blink. Uh, <laughs> but what was what were we talking about? Different roles? Yeah, I played a lot of solo lane in season four. I love solo when it's good. Solo blows right now. Uh, not only does it blow from a carry perspective, you can't carry well from it. But the, normally the reason why is because it's not as much of an early game role. You can't really get much done in lane. It's hard to impact the game very much. And obviously that makes it less fun to watch as well. So I haven't really recorded much solo lane in season five. And most of what I have recorded has been kind of memeier picks. Um, Pele when she came out, Naja solo, uh, Wukong. I, I love Wukong. We'll play some Wukong, some tears, stuff like that more aggressive picks, right? Like, we're not gonna... Terra Solo, very strong pick. We're not gonna record it. It's boring, right? So, that's kind of how I stand right now with that, and uh, hopefully Season 6 will change that around, but because we've been so focused on the jungle for a while now, I do think it makes sense to mix things up. Uh, even though I tend to not play that many different roles, just because I've been recording so much of the same role. Really? We got body blocked? I forgot that was even a thing. We got body blocked by the archer there. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. That's so weird, man. I think Shibalanke Dash is actually the only ability that can get body blocked by a minion. We're just going to go for some poke here. Again, we want to pad our, our stats where we can, right? It's not It's not just for post-game BM. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a four-man gank. Well, we're dead. Okay. 
A uh, little bit late on that, buddy. Be careful, right? Four man gank comes into lane. Yeah, that's cool, man. God damn it, dude. That sucks. Our Thoth is like AFK for a minute, so that's not a good thing either. It's probably why the call was so late. See, we already got one stack. That's nice. We're just going to be going straight into a Devo Gloves. By the way, a little tip. Um, I've noticed My that a lot, of, a lot of players on Shibalanke tend to go Transcendence. And this is something that used to be more important than it is now. But they tend to go Transcendence because of the mana cost on his one. But the mana cost on his one is actually super low until the late game. So I really recommend Devos, even though a lot of the time that's not what you see. Uh, Shibalanke, pretty auto-attack oriented, because, you know, that's why his one is a thing for him. He's pretty auto-attack oriented. We're not going to be able to kill here, so I'm just kind of letting Ares run at him. Seems like they know anyways. But because Hachiman has his ult, Ares chains don't really mean anything right now. Like, all we can do is get Hachiman ult, because, you know, he can not he can still just ult away and, and be fine, and we can't lock him down through that. We'll probably be back soon to finish off our Devos. But a lot of people go for mana on him. They go for the trans. Really recommend the Life Seal of Devourer's Gloves. I think it's a lot better. Because Shibalanke is really not too mana hungry until he starts leveling up his one, which tends to be a little while. Chronos going for the gank. I think we might have CC Muned Gebolt. We need to speed up a little here. Also need to go away from that Hachiman range. Well, they really like our lane. I don't know why. This isn't Chrono. Like, I actually had to check. Is this Chronos jungle? It's not. So, yeah, we have been ganked twice already. That's great. That's fantastic. I love it. I really don't, by the way. Oh, three times. Let's make it. Geb never did. Ult. Okay, good to know. Let's make it three. Oh, nice. I did all the work for that. Give me this one, too. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, can we get a fellow? Can we get a gank as well? I guess we just did. But still, man, like, god damn. Kronos and Kamazot's gank. And then Kronos ganks. And Kronos is like, you know what? That wasn't enough of a gank. Let's gank again. I just respawned, bro. Yeah, that's really lame, man. That's really lame. Kamazaz decides to rotate over too. Yeah, no, no. Fuck duo lane, right? Fuck duo lane. God damn, man. He's coming back for more? Fuck you, buddy. You guy? We're backing. God damn, man. This is BM. I feel I'm not even streaming. What is this? I actually feel like that's what this is, though. This is fucking ridiculous. They might as well, they literally might as well set up shop and just leave solo lane and, and middle lane alone. Like, they might as well just bring everyone into duo lane right now, sit them all down, and and just start farming, right? Just start a little co-op in our lane, because that's basically what this is right now. Anyways, we have another stack in our passive. That's cool. We got our devos started up, so we're actually going to be stacking now. Um, yeah, get those stacks online. Ares, you are such a player, dude. Thank you, man. Cancelled his three so he wouldn't take any last hits. What a player. That's good. Got our ultimate back up. Uh, as long as we're not getting ganked, we can play pretty aggressive here. But that's a pretty bold idea to not be getting ganked right now. Oh, just cancel that. That's nice. Well, we're going to heal up a little bit. If we can. They did a lot of poke there. That's one thing that's going to be really frustrating in this lane is they do a lot of poke. And that makes it hard for us to be aggressive when we're getting this pressured. Erlang seems to want to gank. I don't think this is a good idea because we can't really lock down Hachiman. Uh, I feel like what we need to be going for here is counter ganks or or baiting things and then ganking. But when Hachiman just has his ultimate up, it's really not a great idea to gank because we just shouldn't be able to kill him with our lane comp. Like his horse, for, for everything that is going to come for Hachiman, he should be able to ult away from it. So we need to get that ultimate down before we can actually kill him. Or at least reliably kill him. See, they're seeming to go for an invade here. Oh, it's a battle. It's too bad. <laughs> that is one of the things you do with Shibalanka is you look for teamfight ultimates. You look for gank ultimates. And I see them going for the red buff. I'm like, all right, I'll try and set them up. I'll try and give them a chance to lock down the Kronos for them to not tell what's going on. And apparently Kronos finished red right then and it wasn't the time to fight. So that's too bad. We wasted our ult, but it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, that's something that's definitely Shibalanka specific right there. A little bit similar to Neath is we want to be using our ultimate very often for gank type stuff. We want to be a lot watching the map looking. It's like, okay, is Erlang ganking mid? Is Erlang ganking solo? Right now, for example, we would maybe be ulting for the Ares ganking left. But obviously we don't have ult, so that's not, <laughs> that's not happening. But that's a little Shibalanka specific thing right there that you want to look for very often is when can your ultimate help your team? Because, you know, it's easy, especially as an AD carry, right, to just forget... To, to play for your team, but that's like what this ultimate exists for, basically. Um, we're not gonna rotate, there's not really... 
not really much of a point in rotating right now. I kind of saw like there's a chance maybe in mid, but it's not really worth it. We got to farm up. Got to get to late game. That's what 80 carries do, right? Get to late game, do damage. Hold left click a lot. Oh, we're desyncing the autos. High res fix this like once ever. Of course, Geb is here, man. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take it. I don't think there's any way I live. I, am I wrong? I guess I should have beads. I don't think we would have lived through that. I'm pretty sure they would have caught me because I don't have any boots. Yeah, they should have caught me. We would have died. So that was, that was a good save of beads then. Going into a, into a ninja tabby. I guess I was just overly aggressive on my part, right? We had no wards left at that point. We had no one on that side of the map. So trying to play aggressive versus Hachiman just wasn't the play. Um, yeah, that was just over aggressive. A little, little bright side right now is that we do have our devos stacked early compared to Hachiman. What this does is it gives him a better early game because he doesn't have to worry about um, stacking yet. He has his boots online, which is part of why he was so safe in lane. Only part of it. His ultimate's also really safe ability. But boots online, really good early game. Devos online, uh, better mid game, better late game. Getting our devos stacked early is a really big advantage. Uh, he should be finishing it up whenever he comes back from base in just a few seconds. I guess he's he rotated. That's weird. Um, whenever he whenever he backs, he'll finish that. But we're like half a half a devos ahead of him, so that's great. F six at seven to seven. Uh, yeah, obvious F six guys. See if there's anywhere we can actually ult here. I don't think so. Looks like nothing's really happening, which makes sense. Erling's dead. We'll just push up in right lane, wait to get ganked. Literally, the moment I say that, they gank me. I know they're there. I think we have to try and turn this. I think we have to try and turn this onto the Hachimon. Get nutted on, boy. All right, that's all we can possibly do. Chronos ult down. Uh, did Hachimon ult us? He didn't, right? No. Chronos ult. That was really good. That was really good. We got ganked by the somewhat fed mid, right? Not exactly fed, but well farmed. Um, then Kamazot's ganks as well. Like, we didn't even have support. There's literally just roaming death squad trying to farm me right now because the, apparently they hate me or maybe they're subscribed and want to be in a video farming me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we, we fucked him up. So get it, guy. Back to lane we go. It's nice that we're actually out farming Hachiman a little bit off that too, because he rotated mid for whatever reason, uh, so he, he missed a little bit of farm, which is great for us. All right, back we go, man. I should really be buying wards, huh? I should have I should have bought some wards instead of that mana pot that I've got on me right now. Make it a little easier to stay alive. It's honestly not going to make too much of a difference. Um, Shibalanke is a pretty mobile character, but he's not a semi-global ult out of lane character. I guess he, he's a global character, but not not a, not a mobility global character. He's not Thor. Uh, he's not he's not Chernobog. We we get ganked. We are still pretty screwed, right? Our dash is really good though for mobility. It's better than most most similar stuff. As you guys can see, I personally like to level the two and then the three for for damage essentially a lot of that again comes down to mana cost on the one the one is really good for damage because you're essentially upgrading uh it's kind of like upgrading rama arrow but you don't run out right but you do run out of mana and i really don't like that so um i personally like to level the three that's kind of a, a choice thing here we'll go ahead and sell these off and again because we're leveling the three we don't need mana pots we don't need transcendence and we can actually still buy buy wards and not just spam mana pots to stay in lane uh, probably want to ult here soon, but we're going to wait a little bit. I don't think it's worth it yet. I think we need to get Erling in. If they stick to him, we can maybe get a good ult here. Just waiting to see anything on the map. Um, they're kind of getting close. I'm not going to reach that, so I'm just going to rotate back into right lane and try and get my farm, man. They should get rotated on by Hachiman because they're, you know, diving into their side of the map. I'm not sure why they want this kill so bad. I hope it works out. <laughs> it just seems very, very greedy right now. Yeah, that was a good that was a good uh, decision on our part, I think, to just go back and get our farm, though. Let's go ahead and see if we can zone off the Kamazots at all. Our team's getting a little bit low, so we want to make sure that we can provide a little pressure. Nice. All right, Naja making rotation. That really should mark the time for us to get out here. Let's go ahead and finally get this ward up. Or they can just go run at the Naja. That's fine too, I suppose. I really don't think it is, but you know. We're going to see if we can clean up Hachiman in the back here. Oh, they're all getting low. That works too. Dead. All right. I don't know where Kamazots went. We're just going to we're just gonna go ahead and go for gold, I think, here in a second. If these boys are down. 
if Kamazots is lurking, we're going to tank this a little bit since Aries is low. Uh, if Kamazots is lurking, we're going to have to reset this and just dash on out. I don't think he is. I think he actually backed out. Geb is here. That should be fine. Uh, Geb could steal this, so we need Thoth to secure or someone to CC him at the right time. That's not what they did. That works, too. That works, too. Good reset. Good reset by Aries. CC me this with our dash. Oh, little... I haven't brought that up. In case you don't play Shibalanke, if you don't know... Uh, the second phase of his dash, that little spin move we do, yeah, CC immune, pretty good. So a lot of the time when I play, I haven't really brought it up so far, but a lot of the time when we're playing him and we're looking to get out with our dash, we may be timing the dash to try and immune, you know, an ability like that Chronos 3. All right, Kamazots, I see you, I see you. Go ahead and put in point in the ultimate here. Uh, I think we can really greedily push up for a second because they should be fighting at red, which should mean we're safe to do this. Nice little kill on the Chronos. And yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay, so that's going to be executioner done for us. We're going to go ahead and back off. Low mana. Don't really want to stick around too long. Actually, you know what? We're going to stick around a tiny bit. Kamazots is in mid. That means we're pretty safe here. Geb's in mid as well. That helps. So we'll stick around a tiny bit longer here. Because I think we can fight. Hachiman has red. Should be okay. Even with low mana, we should be able to fight him just because we have a level lead and gold lead. Although we do need to spend the gold. All right. So that's going to be a back for us. That's going to be executioner. From here, we're going into a little bit of crit which should be um, probably um, Poison Star and maybe a Wind Demon. It's going to get an Aegis as well. Enemy has been slain. One thing to think about when, when playing Chibalanke is the, contrib uh, the contribution, that's the word, the contribution of the 30 power you get once your passive is stacked, which we're at right now, by the way, which is part of why we're hitting so hard. Um, so Ninja Tabby, extra good because of that. You know, if, you, if you're thinking about the extra power you're getting from that passive, uh, it's less important to get Warrior Tabby. It's more valuable to get attack speed. Um, that's part of why I like the Executioner, is I feel like normally Executioner is an item that suffers if you're not hitting hard enough yet. In Shibalanke, normally a lot of the time you're seeing Poison Star before Executioner right now on ADC, but Shibalanke hits hard enough. I think XE gets a little, little more value, right? Uh, looks like Hachimon's rotating. We may just push here. And we should be able to zone him off, which gives us better chance to push. Yeah, I think we can just take this. We can just take this in front of his face right now. We got tower. And then we can just turn on him. Let's see if he'll ult here. Oh, he, ult he went that way? Oh, God, we missed so much. Hang on. What the? What? <laughs> that was not the juke, bud. <laughs> that was not the juke. I don't know where he was going with that one, man. This isn't, like, this isn't League. You don't just hide in a shrub and wait it out. Rude. Leave that boy alone. <laughs> All right, well, we might as well go for the tier two. Rockman doesn't seem to want to block these autos, so we'll just take this for free, I guess. I don't know why he's not blocking these. All right, we don't really want to stay at this point. We're definitely, or definitely should be getting rotated on. I guess there's a chance we're not, but we definitely want to reset here. Just wanted to stay around for the tower. Uh, we're going to tag oracles if we can, because I want a little bit more gold. That'll do it. Want to get that poison star done real quick. So um, I would, yeah, we can, no, whatever. Where is he, man? Oh, they actually are here. They should know. I mean, they have a word right here. But Kronos is blind and greedy. Oh, we got the ult off in time. That really sucks. Can just juke that. We actually might. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm really not feeling this, man. Can we just, can we just back? I just want to get my poison star, dude. I just want my crit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we can fight Hachiman just fine. I'm just trying to look for a good way into this fight to clean up here. Oh, Geb Shield's broken! Well, that got a little spooky for me. I think this is the point where we dip. I think it is, because Kamazos is going to go run at me and kill me. So we're going to go this way. Yeah, you guys have fun dying. That fight did not go well. Um, I could have positioned, I should have positioned more normally for that. I thought they were going to dive tower, so I thought I'd kind of take in the back line, get a little gank off. Um, but it didn't really work. I thought they'd kind of get pushed towards me. I don't think it mattered. I think the fight was going to go bad either way, but it would have been, would have been better if we just positioned with our team there. Because we had a little trouble getting damage off from where we were. We had to, you know, not kill ourselves. 
Okay, so it looks like they're going to gold, maybe right tower. Um, either way, we're not going to be able to block either of those, or it's not going to be worth trying to block either of those. So we'll just kind of chill over here. Yeah, it looks like they're going for gold. Uh, if Geb rotates out, we actually maybe could. Gold's not coming up quite yet, but if they stick it out, we actually could go ahead and stay around here. I don't know. Should we take this? I think we should take this. I think we're going to take red buff here. Hachiman's in right. All right. We'll go defend our lane real quick. Uh, obviously, because that tower is finally, or both those towers are finally down in right lane, we don't want to spend too much time in lane anymore. Um, you know, there's still farm to be had, but, like, we're not pushing Phoenix. That's just not a good idea. So we're going to have to start rotating with our team a lot more here, start trying to stick to them, which will be a good thing. Um, getting those towers down, obviously, for the better, right? But we're going to have to get out of lane a little bit more. Uh, in certain situations, it's more valuable to even this late in the game stay in lane a decent amount as an ADC. But especially, you know, when we have towers down, there's just, there's not much for us to do here. I guess we could try for a gold. They probably have a word on this, though. You know, considering considering they tried to do this before it came up, they should have put a word on it, I would, I would think. Maybe not? Oh, they did. And they got it. And he ulted. And he might be dead. Aegis? Aegis, please? We're not going to be able to get the autos, man. Walls are, walls are too strong. There we go. That's so lame, man. I thought we'd get so much more value out of the range on our autos there. Got our actives here. What? Okay. Well, I hit beads. Beads didn't decide to do anything. That really sucks. We actually 100% died because of that. <laughs> really sucks, man. I actually, like, I hit beads um, pretty much when Naja came on the screen, and it just never went off, and I didn't realize that, so we just got ulted anyways. That's lame, man. Um, well, that was not a good fight. That would have been very different. If we immune the Naja ult like I meant to, then... I think that just would have completely changed things, right? Because we would have still been alive pretty easily. We took we took over half our health from the ultimate. Can we not go for gold when we have zero vision? Yeah, that was probably a bad call. <laughs> that was probably a bad call. To be fair, Hachiman also played it pretty well. Lurking for so long and then getting in last minute. But yeah, they did have vision on that, like for sure. That's why Hachiman stole it the way he did. I don't think he's that lucky. Oh! Damn! <laughs> so close, man. He actually almost soloed the Naja. There goes FG. Rip. Rip, dude. Well, things have gone sour pretty quick. I think it's okay, though. I think we'll still be able to make some plays here. Uh, if anything, I think I just need to stop following as much and start trying to maybe call a little more as we get into team fights. That's something I tend to just not do on ADC because, you know, you're out of the game for so long and you just try and lead everybody once you're actually involved. Normally not a great idea. Okay, don't give it to the guy that's four levels above you. Give it to me, boy. I'm four levels over you. I'm smacking face. All right, give it to the Shibalanke. Um... We're going to go into a Wind Demon from here, and then after that, we'll probably go... Oboe? Maybe? I don't... I don't know, man. I really like Oboe on Shibalanke. It's kind of weird to build him this season, since since you've got the Shuriken items that are so strong. I feel like that kind of works, but I don't know. We might not do it. Just because you get so much damage off of off of both the split on the one as well as the bonus damage from the one, attack speed gets more value on Shibalanke. So Oboe's a really nice item on him because of that. Really nice. Especially because Oboe, a lot of the time, the reason it doesn't get picked up is because a lot of people have attack speed steroids. And, uh, well, Shibalanke doesn't. So that helps a lot as well. Actually, his ultimate doesn't do anything, right? No, movement speed, but no attack speed. Uh, so we'll just kind of, I don't know, lurk, hang out down here. Talk to the team? I don't know, man. They're just kind of shoving a fire right now, and our team is just running all over the map doing dumb shit. Like, you guys you guys look at the map, right? Not literally... No, wow. Is that... Does that mean literally everyone on our team didn't look at the map? Is that actually what that means? I think that, I think that might be what that means. Like, I, I've known that they were going to be pushing right since they were up here on the map, so I can't believe... I can't believe that people are just realizing that. I thought they were just trying to get farm in the meantime. I thought Naja would go for an ult there, so we popped our beads. 
In the meantime, we're melting a little bit. Train CC Munichronos 3. Didn't go for it, though. Really good start to the fight. We got a couple of picks. No one's dead on our side yet, so this is a great defend. Yeah, I do have to say, even though Naja didn't go for the ult, the fact that we did bead still kept us safe from an ult. The reason Naja was looking at us there is, you know, Naja wanted the ultimate, so I think that was still a good bead, even though it didn't it didn't have any obvious results. It still kept Naja from ulting us for two seconds, which is part of why Naja died. So, that was great. We wiped their fire giant. We got a bunch of kills. Kronos the only one left. We should be able to really easily shove mid here and probably... I don't know if we can get Phoenix, but we can definitely get tier 2 tower. And we should be able to get tier 1 left, I think. I don't know if... I still don't know. Like, Phoenix, maybe. Maybe. Ah, yeah, we can go for it. We can go for it. If Kronos overextends here, it looks like he's not, so we should just be going on Phoenix. I don't know why everyone backed off there. Just get the Phoenix, man. Why are you all resetting? What was that, dude? Hit the Phoenix. What are you doing? Like, like, actually the only person hitting it was me. I understand we have a Geb and an Ares. Geb and Ares should not be hitting Phoenix. They didn't. They knew what they were doing. But Thoth and Erlang, AFK from brain or maybe missing a brain. I don't know what that was from those guys. Not only were they, like, not even on the Phoenix for a long time. Um, I mean, Thoth and Erlang actually AFK'd. You guys were fine. <laughs> You, I was half? It's a Kronos. It's a single Kronos. You're fine. We have an Ares. We have a Geb. Geb has shields. You're out. Oh my god, dude. Did we actually lose off of that? We actually lose off of that. What a way, man. What a way. That was really stupid. Erlang and Thoth combined would have been at least half of our Phoenix damage there. I almost got it on my own, which is a really clear sign that that would have been a free Phoenix that we could have backed off from. No one would have died if they actually just went and hit the Phoenix like, you know, everyone else knew to. So, I don't know. That was stupid. That's a lame way to lose. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. I, I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.